let's start a new project and we'll just make it 8 by 12 it's a good demo size click OK in this project we're going to explore some of the other designer pro tools such as uh, pattern along trajectory and another text tool called decorate with text so let's start by going into our pattern library and I've got these stem patterns that I made and I'll show you how I made those here shortly let's just position it here on the board and let's say we want to apply some leaves to follow this path here and we want to kind of design out our own grapevine for a sign that we're making so we can go into our basic patterns and under leaves we have some uh, big leaves that look like grape leaves but we can go and manually place each one of these or we can use the pattern along trajectory tool and have it follow a path so I'm just going to trace over this shape and it doesn't need to be exact it just needs to follow along that path fairly closely you can make it uh, precise if you if you desire to and then with this line selected I'm going to click on the pattern along trajectory icon it's this orange shell following along this line when you click on that it opens up the trajectory window and it's got some informational boxes down here so the first one here labeled patterns this is where you add the patterns that you want to follow this path so there's a number one and a number two this is actually where you you can add two patterns so the first one we're going to go here and we're going to select that leaf and we're going to add it and that will add it here to our board now you're only seeing the outline of the pattern. You're not going to actually see the pattern unless we do a preview. But we can see from the outline where it's positioned and it does seem a little large. So up here in the input fields is how we make any adjustments to the patterns that we're putting in, in this process. So let's size that down to an inch. And then let's just move it here. We're creating an offset. So offset is showing how far away it is from this point to the the line and you can manually type these in and then also an indentation is how far in is it positioned from the the end of the line or the the starting point there and so you can manually grab that and move it around or you can type in those dimensions if you you'd like as well the pattern could probably angle a little more this way let's see if we can't give it a little angle yeah that way it, it looks like it's growing more from the the vine and we'll position the end of it here so it looks like there's you know the stem is attached to the vine and then let's add some more along this path uh, we can tell it how many we want and type in the spacing or we can have it actually evenly space them across the entire piece here all right and then we can click preview and we can see what those leaves look like running along a path there so then we've got this number two that we can click on and we can add another leaf so we can add a different leaf if we have one or we can add the same leaf but this time we will also size it smaller and we will move it so it's on the other side of the vine and maybe rotate that angle quite a bit more and let's give it five of those as well and spread them out so now we get this nice pairing of leaves they might be a little too uniform looking so maybe let's size this one just a little bit smaller and we can make other adjustments to its indentation as well and create different 
pairing shapes for that. We can also change the count. So if we want it to not match up with each one of those and look even more random, we can add more or less in there. And let's preview and see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good. So the leaves naturally kind of, the patterns naturally overlap each other. So it looks like there's one in front of the other, which is a nice effect. In some cases, if you aren't getting a nice layering effect, we do have these tilt tools here where you can actually tilt your patterns uh, in a horizontal direction. So you can tilt it this way or this way, depending on if you're using a positive or negative number. And then vertical, you can tilt it in a vertical directions as well. And that can actually help create uh, an angle that another pattern can sit underneath it. So in, if you had a bunch of these that were bunched together and you wanted them to all sit right across each other and overlap each other, this would be a way you could achieve that. Okay, so we've got these patterns here on this vine, these leaves, they look nice. Let's click OK. And now we can see how they interact with our vine pattern. Uh, looks like we probably need to adjust some depth. This pattern is pretty shallow. Let's give it at least a point 0.2. Yeah, and that works pretty well. So it looks like this smaller leaf is behind the vine, and this one is sitting on top of it. Maybe we shallow up the height just a little bit. I'm seeing it bleed through the leaf here. Maybe down to 75. Or maybe we adjust our our vine uh, trajectory path a little bit here too. Nice. Okay, so a very nice little vine and leaf pattern. So let's go ahead and add to this. We can add some other patterns to it. Maybe this vine curl. We can put in here somewhere. Scale down. And maybe some grapes in here too. Get some fruits and vegetables. Actually get something growing from this vine. And we'll set our depths to some more consistent levels. this one real quick. So very quickly we're able to create a nice little grapevine scene. Uh, it'd be easier to see if we put a background on this so just as we do with, with most everything when we're making uh, anything to be truly presentable we want these carvings to be rising up from a background. So let's use our materials tool and Designer Pro to go and find a nice background texture for this this project. And maybe we want to do something rather subtle. Uh, maybe this water surface, that one looks kind of nice. We can apply that on there. And it looks pretty pretty good. So let's now explore what we can do similarly with text. I'm going to take part of this shape here and I'm going to trace along another path. So I've got this curve and I want this curve to have text that kind of follows along here for my sign. With this line selected, I'm going to go to my Decorate with Text tool. 
So this is this blue T on the line. So it looks similar to the pattern along trajectory, but it's a T at that angle. So I'm going to click on that. And it brings up my text box, just like if I was doing normal text, but you can see how it's taking that text and applying it to this line here. And we can type something in. And then you can, of course, select a font and I click OK. And now our, we can see our text following along that vine path as well, just as we had, we did with our patterns. Okay, so that's just a quick example of how to use the pattern along trajectory tool and the decorate with text tool.